Right, Mark, over to you and you're showing off your buns this morning. <laughs> That's right. We've got smoky pork buns today on the menu. It's going to be great, great for summer. You can do this recipe on the barbecue as well. I'll explain a bit later. We've got these little sliders here, so they're going to be little individual pork buns. And we're going to use pork belly. So look at that. Beautiful cut of pork. We've got all this fat layered through it. And that's going to keep the uh, pork nice and moist. We're going to do a rub, we're going to bake it in the oven, and then we're going to caramelise it with lots of Asian flavours. You've got soy in there, chilli in there, and smoked paprika to give that smoky edge to it. It's going to be great. I'm going to show you a little bit later. And now it's over to Holly. Hey, we are back in the cafe kitchen with the perfect Friday night treat, smoked pulled pork buns. Pork, pickled onions, toast. We've got lots of fresh veggies here too. This is going to be fantastic. <laughs> it's, it's brilliant. It's really good. And it all starts with the pork. So mm. we've got a nice bit of uh, pork belly here. And what we want to do is we want to uh, get some flavours onto that pork belly. Okay, so cool. I'm just going to toast some coriander seeds. Yeah. So just dry pan over a medium heat. Keep them going just to release all their aromas. Okay, I'm going to watch closely your tips on how to do the pork because I always dry my pork out. I overcook it. So the tip here is we're going to wrap it in foil. Yeah. So as it's roasting, it's, it's going to bake and it's going to steam, so it's going to become mm. tender. And then all the juices are going to keep in the bag as well. Yeah. That'll keep it nice and moist. And okay, we're going to keep cool. the, uh, the temperature of, uh, of the oven down as well. So about 140, okay. 150 degrees for a couple of hours. Because it's always that fine position for it being undercooked and <laughs> not ready and overcooked <laughs> and dry. So I'm learning from you today. You at home can learn as well. All right, so just going to get a little bit of uh, salt and pepper on there. Yep. And we're just going to toast those. And then once, once they're lightly toasted, we're just going to crush them in the pestle and mortar. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I'm pretty good at that now. Yeah. And then we've got some smoked paprika as Yum. well. So that's what's going to give us this nice smoky flavour. So just be quite, quite liberal on that. And it's all going to bake together. All the uh, juice is going to come out of the pork. It's almost going to create this like, nice little sauce as well. Oh, yum. I uh, always have paprika in the um, pantry, actually. It's quite handy. You can shove it on. You can shove it just about on anything, really. <laughs> yeah. Give it a smoky flavour. flavour maker, we like yeah. to call it. A flavour maker. There you go. All right, pop them in there. OK. We'll grind them down. So this is the first stage. So there's obviously a little bit of uh, um, pre-planning in this recipe. But once you do this, you know, you shove it in the oven. You can chop everything else up, and yeah. then you're pretty much ready to go. You oh, know, nice. so it's quite an easy one. You know, stick a movie on, build the buns, and uh, just eat them. You can watch that uh, Michael Bolton special. <laughs> 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 um, okay, cool. Cafe.co.nz if you want this recipe and the others that we have here. Oh, that smells amazing, doesn't it? There you go. So you got all mm. these, yeah, all these great flavours in there, and it's all going to work really well with the pork as well. And then, so I've doubled up the foil. Yeah. And then I'm just going to create like a nice little package, so nice and tight, so you keep all those juices in. So I said before, about 140 degrees in oh. the oven for about two, two and a half hours, so it's nice and tender. Don't want to get it too tender though, because we want to cook some nice slices, and then we're going to caramelise it a little bit later, so I get a nice colour on it, and then we're going to put some sugar in, so we're going to really caramelise it, and then we've got all these beautiful flavours, ginger, garlic, chilli, mm. spring onions, coriander, and then I'm going to show you how to make some pickled onions as well. OK, good, sounds Which good. Which we'll start now. OK, so do you want Just add a bit on? of vinegar, yeah, just in this little pot here. OK. So vinegar. Oh, jeez. Which one? <laughs> OK. <laughs> How do you cook at home? <laughs> I <know. laughs> well, I do that at home. I'm like, which one is it? <laughs> I'm sure everyone at home does that as well. <laughs> Even though it's written on the uh, written on the oven here, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Right. So, so what you put in there? So you put so sugar and vinegar. Yep. So you know you, you can do equal parts. If you don't want it as sweet, you can knock back knock back the uh, sugar a little bit. Yeah. Um, but just all you're doing is just warming it. So you dissolve the sugar, bring it up to the boil, let it cool down, and then just pop it over any vegetable. Okay. Easy. So we're going to use red onions today. So I'm just going to take the core out, just slice them nice and fine. And then the acidity in the in the pickle will make the onions nice and pink, and they'll just soften them slightly, but you'll still get a crunch, right. and you'll get this nice sweet and sour balance to cut through that pork. So okay, so, you, so your oven, your pork is in the oven. Yep. In this stage, you can do what before the pork's cooked, or you can do it after the pork's cooked. No, no. no so get all this ready now. Oh, yeah, so, brilliant. so this can be all made. Yep. You know, it's cold, it's ready to go on. You get everything else chopped. Once the pork's ready, we're going to finish it, oh. warm up again, and then we just toast the buns. Bang. Brilliant. Job done. OK, cool. I'll tell you what, we'll leave it there. We'll come back in just a minute, get more of Mark's tips. I can't wait for the finished product. What a perfect way to wrap up the week with some pulled pork buns. So we've sorted out our vinegar and our sugar. Yep, so it's just come to the boil. Yep. Just take it off, you know, slice your onions, just spread them out a little bit and then just pop them in. OK. And then just... Is it a pickled onions? Shake around. Yep. Oh, cool. So just shake it around, you know, take about five minutes. Just cool down in there. 
and uh, you'll see in a minute once we do them <laughs> they'll be nice and pink okay good sweet anyway right so here's the pork belly so this has oh. been cooking for a couple of hours oh yeah, look so at open that. that up you're right look at the juices yeah, so you've got yeah. all the juices in there they're not escaping you know it's keeping it nice and moist you mm. know give it a prod yeah isn't it amazing um, it's nice and uh, it's nice and soft <laughs> okay. If you were just going to eat it like that, um, I would. <laughs> you know, you could cook, cook it a little bit longer, but we are going to do a second process in the in the cooking process. So okay. we're going to fry it now. Okay. So, so it's just caramelising it. Yeah. So if you've got a little bit more time, you know, stick it in the fridge, let it chill down, and it will set. So you can, you know, you can get some nice slices. Oh, well, he's hungry can, now. You've got a sharp <laughs> knife. You can do that. Nice. Right, I just need. Um, what do you need? I need some oil. I'm here to help you. Okay, cool. Oil. <laughs> Got any oil? <laughs> <laughs> I raced home and got you some. Okay, cool. Awesome. There we go. A little right, bit of oil in there. A little bit of oil in there. Yep. And then we're just going to start getting a bit of colour on the uh, pork. Mm hmm. <laughs> that is the sound I like. That is the sound of magic. <laughs> okay. It's right, so a nice high heat. A little bit of colour in there. And then we're going to pop some sugar in okay. and we're going to caramelise, caramelise the it. sugar so it's going to create this nice chilli caramel around it. Yeah. Okay. Give it a flip. Well, that looks sensational. Already. So you've got all those flavours in there and we're still going to be adding more flavours. So a little bit of sugar, keep it on the high heat and we'll let that caramelise. Okay, now I know why everything tastes so good. Well, <laughs> <laughs> right, and then once that's caramelised and the pork's coated, we've got some soy sauce here, got some sesame oil, some yep. rice vinegar, yep. and a little bit of fish sauce as well. That's going to create a sauce um, around the pork and a nice glaze as well. Oh, nice. And then we've got some ginger, some garlic, and some chilli, which we can start putting in now. Okay, sensational. So that's all going in now. So you're just stir-frying it all together. We've got some green... Um, Spring onion tops as well, which is gonna, which are gonna go in. So you just keep an eye on that. Keep turning it. Don't let the caramel burn. Okay, cool. Yep, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Let... So you're just releasing all those flavours of all these um, ingredients in there now. Oh, okay. I can smell it. it. Smells incredible. Once you've got your caramel now, turn the heat down a little bit, and you can start adding all your liquids. So it's like sesame oil, uh, yep. soy. A bit of rice vinegar as well. Rice vinegar. It's all at thecafe.co.nz if you want the recipe. Right, so you're just creating a glaze around it, you know? You don't need to cook the pork anymore because you know the pork's ready. You know, if it's, if it's in the fridge and you slice it and you pan fry it, just make sure the pork's warm before you use it. And that's pretty much it. We've got a little bit of coriander, which we're going to chop, finish it off. Once you've got a nice glazed uh, pork belly, we're ready for the next stage of building the buns. That looks sensational. I can't wait. I'm going to go home and try this tonight. That's how I'm spending my Friday night. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to go to the cricket, but now I'm going to stay home and I'm going to make this because it sounds spectacular. There you go. And it's as easy as that. Look at that. Brilliant. OK, okay Mark, over to you now. And I've seen those buns. They look incredible. Yep, they're finished. We just built them up. A little bit of uh, garlic mayonnaise at the bottom. All that beautiful, uh, spicy, smoky pork, the pickled onions, a little bit more coriander, and they are good to go. Oh, yum. Well, it's going to be a fight round here for those, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> OK, well, look, come and join us, Mark, because right now we're going to do some wine tasting because there's nothing better than matching some food with wine, and we're very lucky from Thornbury Wines to have Simon Fowley who just happens to have the perfect wine match for this delicious smoked pork pill bun.